what is there to be said? It's that time. When y'all hear the bells come on, you know it's that mugging time, bruh. I got the best dribble combos on this goddamn game for y'all boys. So y'all can cook up. What's the dealio, man? Jay Amir back with another video. Now today, I'm I'm, I'm happy, bro. Smile on my face, and I hope y'all are all having a good day as well. Now to start off this video, I need y'all boys to smash that like button, bro. You know what it is, bro. You know what time it is. Go now, hit that like button, subscribe if you new, bro, because we coming with the best content all year long. Come on, die. And if anybody ain't tell you, bro, if anybody ain't tell you today. I appreciate you, man. You know what I mean? I appreciate you. Yesterday, I dropped a video talking about this most secret dribble move, and it's all a setup for today, bro. I told y'all to get a certain amount of likes, and y'all did that for me. So we here today with the best combos with that dribble move, dog. We finna go crazy. I feel like season four, Jay Amir really can't be stopped. Like, I keep leveling up. I'm about to make a new build for y'all, uh, for my 6'6 boy. So here to go to go right here, man. You know what I'm saying? If you got a 6'6 six, six player and up, or like 6'5, I, I don't know what the cap is. You got that and up, hit that like button, bro. You know what I'm saying? Comment down. Let's try to get this John to like at least 100 likes by the end of the day. Last thing, shout out my Nodi gang, y'all. Shout out my Nodi gang, bro. Y'all boys be coming strong. And I appreciate y'all boys to the highest degree possible, bro. Y'all keep rocking with me, and we gonna go places, bro. We gonna go places. So with that being said, man, let's get into that video, man. Let's go. Now today, y'all, we done graduated from that Gatorade court, man. Most of the time, y'all see me do these little dribble tutorials for y'all boys. You see me go right there. Nah, not today. I worry, y'all, I will go over here to practice these dribble moves. But before we get right into these dribble moves, I want to tell you guys these settings real quick. So uh, first and foremost, you guys want to go to options, go to controller settings. Now, you guys going to see that I don't have vibration function on or trigger effect. Vibration function for me is a distraction. And take that trigger effect off because it... You need that. You need that turbo. It's needed. And if the trigger is heavy, your dribble move is going to look heavy too. But uh, for the pro stick function, you guys are going to see I use dribble moves only. I've told you guys this before, and I've seen in the comment section that uh, dribble moves only does take out one move. Anything you try to do with a shot stick in terms of stepping back, you can do it with your square button. So put dribble moves only on because it allows you to activate way more moves. It allows you to get in your bag a lot more. And it allows you to practice these drill moves without the fear of taking a jump shot on accident by holding down too long. So those are the pro stick functions. I'm gonna give you guys these animations real quick. Now I showed you guys in the last video, but if you guys don't have it on, I need you guys to put on dribble style Allen Iverson, De'Aaron Fox size up with the Allen Iverson size of the skate. Now these, also the Chris Paul, copy all them down. Just copy them all down, bro. You know what I'm saying? These are the most goaded drill moves right now. I'm definitely gonna be trying out some more. I've been seeing that you guys, uh commented and you know what i mean trying to give me the sauce and i'm here for it bro i'm here for it i'm trying to make the perfect recipe so you guys let me know but copy all this now because this is what we're going to be using for the dribble combos and then last but not least y'all last but not least i'm gonna say that for another video i need that for another video you guys gonna see that for my playmaking badges i need you guys to have quick first step on quick chain and hyper drive also handles for day so you guys can get in your bag a little bit longer these are the playmaking badges that's gonna allow you to hit these moves super super quick put them in hall of fame put it at the high degree possible if you guys don't have it on hall of fame that being said let's get into that shit, man let's go let me hop on this court man let me hop on this court first and foremost rp mamba yeah now when you guys see me grab this rock i'm gonna first and foremost tell you that these are combos so the moves that i'm going to be using is a lot of different moves that i had in my first dribble tutorial so you guys might want to go watch that before or after depending on how complex you guys feel it is to you guys i'm going to be starting off with a little bit of simple junk like we're going to ramp it up real fast and get into these advanced dribbles because i feel like y'all should know if you watch the dribble tutorial if you a real one you already know some of this simple stuff so the first one i'm going to show you guys is the d rose twin and it's going to be bang bang it's a speed boost, real quick speed boost. Now, what I'm gonna tell you guys throughout this thing is that I'm a reactional dribbler. I don't go into plays knowing exactly what move I'm gonna use. Oh, I'm about to hit him with a behind the back, blah, 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 and hopefully he fall for it. I usually make a move based on what the defender gives me. So all these dribble combos, don't don't expect to just go in and be able to hit him, hit him, hit him, and then I'm straight. In your mind, practice all these combos and then get to a spot where it's like, all right, as soon as he do this, I'm gonna react. So the first one is a real simple one. Like I said, I'm not cheesy, I'm crafty. If I fake him out this way right here, I'm gonna just go in between my legs and go. So what you guys wanna do is press diagonal up away from the ball hand, like those, you know what I'm saying? You guys should see a move where he does a little stutter, like a little, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, you just go right between your legs and then you blast off. 
So if you guys want to see it, my controller is going to look like this. Diagonal up, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys hold R2 right before you blast off. So bang, bang, bang. Right there. Now another one we're going to talk about just like the d rolls tween is like a uh, between behind the back like that. So bang. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting a little too saucy. So bang, bang, bang. Woo! You know what I mean? It's the it's the it's the simplicity. It's the simplicity that can really, you know what I'm saying, get you get you that that bucket. I'm telling you, man. You don't gotta be that guy that's spamming hella moves all day and stuff like that. You can you can literally just score off a of simple stuff. But this is a simple one. Bang, bang, bang. And all you guys wanna do is just an easy between the legs. So if it's on your right hand side, you flick left like that. If it's on your left hand side, you flick all the way right just right like that and as soon as you do that you go down just like how you do a curry but without r2 so bang bang down and then you want to just blast off so bang 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 and um you guys know that i use screen so it's like like i said it's like the simple stuff so i might just show him that i'm going that way he gonna be hedging that way he might hit that screen and even if i'm on an iso i'm on an island he might fall for that fake that's why i said best dribble package because you see how he snatches it he looks like he's about to go and he's standing still tan cam up you guys gonna see you guys gonna see it's gonna be bang 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 now the last simple one i want to show you guys that i do a lot is this long behind the back into a between the legs so it's gonna be a long behind the back into a chop like that so say i'm running down the court bang bang that way straight like that you feel me straight like that the goal of it is to actually get a little speed boost out of this so you want to be able to bang bang and then yeah what you want to do is a long cross to do this literally just do the curry basically you holding down r2 and then going behind the back like that you know what i'm saying down diagonal away that's what it should be for your ball hand side and then as soon as you do that you want to keep holding r2 and then you do a little you should do a little bounce with it just like the between i just showed you guys you do a little bounce with it like that and then after that, you just blast off. That's all it is for the simple ones. Now we can get into these advanced moves, man. So you guys can start chopping up. You feel me? Now this is advanced because this is new to me. Still trying to learn the ropes, but it looked great. It looks sexy as hell, boy. You know what I mean? Let me chill before YouTube start. You know? So what this is going to be is a double behind the back. All right. So it's going to be like this. Bang, bang. So if you guys play 2K16, y'all know about that Jamal Crawford. That's basically what it is. You want to hit him first with this slow behind the back. Bang. And then you want to do a, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a slow one and then into a quick one. And what that does is it changes pace, changes speed. And that's all a part of being able to manipulate your defender. Hand cam up. R2 or RT. Shout out the box, of course, my guys. Slow, long behind the back, all right? This is going to be the slow, long one. And then after you do that, you want to quickly go into that. So, R2, RT, bang, 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 Woo! bang, bang. And the reason I want to teach you guys is because it's going to get you guys into a lot of different other moves. So you guys can see I'm coming down, I'm going to hit him with a bang, bang. And you can just start getting to all these other moves. That's just one combo. Now hold on to that because we're going to be coming back to this. But I want to teach you guys another upgraded Conda combo. And it's going to be the momentum into the behind the back. Not that one right there. Now that was cool too. But I'm really talking about this right here. So it's gonna be bang, 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 bang. Now all you guys want to do is hold down R2, RT, flick diagonal up away from your ball hand and follow it in the same motion with your left stick. So diagonal up with the right stick and left stick. You guys want to make sure you guys do the right stick first. You're gonna do a little run and then bang. You know what I mean? So what it should do is allow somebody to feel like, all right, he's going to make a move. He's trying to get to another spot. No, I'm not. I'm, just, I'm trying to go right back to where I was at. He was hugging me a little too tight, but now I'm right back here. So I usually, whoo, you know what I'm saying? And once you, once you get, once you get really, really advanced with it, you guys gonna be able to stop yourself super quick. And that's that's really what it comes to. It comes to timing. So make sure you guys practice like, bro, just take two combos, two combos a day. Come to the Mamba Court, come to the Gatorade facility, whatever uh, the case may be. Practice that, those two combos because you want to be able to, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. That's that's literally, that ends what I would call the beginner tutorial. So now we finna get into these complex, ha, ha, ha type moves you feel me i want to stop saying it but i feel like i should keep reiterating that you guys need to know how to do these moves single-handedly without the combo so i do have a dribble tutorial and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to keep update with all these dribble things i'm gonna come out with bro i know y'all like these type of videos as well as the jump shot double upload jay i got a video coming out after this so you might as well subscribe to stay tuned to that one this is a move that i was talking about in the dribble tutorial and that's the setup move this little slow move right here now with the ai it's a little bit quicker so just this 
all right? We're just gonna stick with that right now. And all you guys wanna do to do that is hold R2 or RT, flick like you're doing a crossover, but then move your left stick away from it so you can cancel out of that. So it's gonna look like this, hold on. Bang. And then you can do it the other way, vice versa. Bang. That's not really what we're here for. So what you guys wanna do is do a little setup move, and then you wanna do a drop dribble and then crossover. Super simple, but you know what I'm saying, it might take a little bit of time if you're not if you're not used to that setup move. That's that's the that's the biggest part. So you wanna set up move, bang, bang. You know what I mean? Like that. People it makes people feel like alright, dang, he's motioning to the left side or the right side if you wanna do it the other way, like these. Bang, bang, bang. But you really trying to get back into that screen or to that top of the key or whatever you trying to go. You feel me? It's a setup move to go the misdirection. So what you guys want to do is set a move RTR2 to slow it down. You guys are doing a between the legs cancel and then to drop it. All you guys want to do is flick the right stick diagonal away from where the ball is after you do the setup move. So once you do the drop, you can just move. You can literally just move to cross yourself over. You don't have to do any crossover for yourself all together. You see setup, drop. Bang, I'm gone. Now, with this comes different variations because you guys are gonna be in different situations. And so I said that I don't I don't predetermine my moves before I do it. So say somebody's playing up very, very hard on you, like you know what I'm saying? Pause. But say you playing, they playing up very hard, right? And you can't you can't cross over. As soon as you cross over, you're gonna get bumped. That completely defeats the purpose of doing that combo. The reason you combo in is to get free. You feel me? So sometimes you might be in a predicament where you have to do a, what I say is a momentum cross. And what momentum does is allow you not to get bumped. So what you want to do is this time, like I said, like the last time, do a setup move, drop it, but you want to do a momentum cross. And what that allows you to do is kind of like skirt by somebody. You feel me? Like these. And I'm going to show you guys on the hand cam and I'm going to slow it up for you guys so you guys can do it. Bang, bang, bang. Ooh, there you go. Bang, bang, bang. And like I said, it's gonna let you skirt by with that momentum. And then you guys seen the clip exactly what I did. It just allowed me to get that open space that I needed to get that. Yeah, tour. I should have brought my boy Tiger. Hold on, let me get my boy Tiger out here so he can. Yeah, you know what I mean. Get out, get out here, bro. My boy Lil Turchy. That's that's my Tiger, Lil Turchy. If you made it to this part of the video to show you really rock with me, let me see a let me see a Lil Turchy in the chat. He gonna sit by me and uh. Help me explain these drill moves to y'all. So this is the final kill. This is the nigga. You still trying to play defense? Bet. You know what I mean? So you gotta get deep in your back. So you guys already know how to do the setup move, right? You guys know how to drop it and cross. So now we're doing a setup move, drop, cross, bang, bang. You feel me? You feel me? That's where the movement behind the back comes. And this is where I get most of my kills, like I said. So you guys gonna set them up, drop it, bang, no. Right here. I'm in my spot. Huh. Straight like that. Nigga. Huh. Hand cam up, set up move, drop, crossover, behind the back. Let's do it one more time. Set up move, drop, crossover, behind the back. Set up move, drop, crossover, behind the back. All you guys gotta do is, huh, 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 huh. Yeah. That's really my golden ticket. Get past that. You might, you might have me locked the site. Oh! Look at you, you was hype, you was about to pull up, wasn't you? Nah. Now that we did all that and we went really technical, let's simmer down for a little bit. This is a very advanced move, but it's a lot simpler to do. So I call it the D-Rose into the skate move. So so say you hit the D-Rose and you in front of him, right? You know what I'm saying? He probably either like on the side of you, right? Trying to follow you and uh, make sure you don't drive. Or he's right behind you to, you know what I mean? Cancel him out and take him out the equation to get an open shot. Let's hit this little skate move. So you guys gonna see me. Bang, right? Let me do it in the middle of the court, it's a little bit easier. So, bang, bang. So you're gonna be behind your back, and then you can, you know what I mean, take your shot. So all you guys wanna do is, oh! Man, come on. It's a whole other side over there, bro. You don't need to hoop with my basketball. My bad, bro. Appreciate that, gang. Appreciate that, you know what I mean? That's a real, he pushing P. All right, so look, for the d rolls, you do diagonal up, Right, if it's on your left hand side, diagonal up left if it's on your left hand side. Hold R2 after you do that, and then push with it. Bang, bang. And then for the skate move, all you guys wanna do is do like a hezzy. It's gonna look like a hezzy at first, right? But instead of doing a hezzy, you are gonna flick to the left side if it's on your right hand side, and then vice versa. So you guys wanna bang. You going into a hezzy, but you flicking away from the ball hand side. Bang. In one motion, you guys gonna see it like this. Bang. Bang, whoo, you feel me? Hop right in front of the dog, he gonna be, he gonna be bamboozled. So hand came up, obviously still, bang, you see it? Yeah, 
You know what I mean? That's one of them. Now, speaking of forward movement and doing combos that way, another one that I like to do is uh, this move right here. And it's going, I'm going to just show you guys a full, a full display of how it's going to look. So it's set up, drop, and then bang. See, you see I'm going to be skirting around, and that's why I said put on that Kawhi Leonard, especially if you were a three-point shooter. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. Set up, drop, bang. You guys know how to do the setup move by now. If not, I hate you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, but for real, though. So I'm going to need you guys to hit that setup move, bang, bang, drop, and then on the run, you guys let go of R2. Let go of R2 or RT, and on the run, you guys want to make sure you guys angle it where you're running, and then when you're hitting that behind that, God dang. Respectfully, you're not getting the ball. My bad, bro. As soon as you're ready to do the behind the back, you flick, you know what I'm saying? Diagonal back that way. Diagonal back that way. And then you follow it with this stick so you guys can actually make your person turn. So you guys gonna see in the hand cam is like this. That was like that's that's really that's really the one right there. You wanna just work on you wanna work on being able to do that right there. Back to the whole combo up move. You guys wanna do the setup, bang, bang. You guys see, when I do the combo move, it seems like it's almost easier for me to, you know what I mean, stay out on that three-point line. So that's what I'm talking about right there. Now, in terms of tricking somebody up, we not done yet, bro. We not done. Got a move right here that can definitely make somebody think, or oh, I'm going to the paint, or I'm going somewhere else. And like, nah, I'm coming back to that three-point line. So you guys gonna see it look like this. Bang, bang, bang. All right? So... Is the spin move that's obviously the kill. You guys want to set it up with the D-Rolls. You start with that D-Rolls, you hit it between to show that, all right, I'm changing direction, right? That first change of direction gonna make them really think and make them work. The between the legs is key. You see how slow this spin back can be, right? Some of them take a little bit too long. You see right there. You want to do one where it's like you're going sideways so you can just spin back and like shoot right away. You see how fast that was compared to how slow that is. Make sure when you guys do this little between the legs move that you're veering out a little bit so your your body can be facing like going sideways action. And to be able to execute it the right way, you want to be able to give yourself enough space to be able to do this tween move. So it's so it's bang, bang, bang. Can I shoot from here? No. Alright. Cam is up and everything like that so you guys can get a good look at it. This is how it's really gonna look. Bang, bang, bang. Woo! Woo! Sadly, this combo tutorial is coming to an end. I do have a lot more combos. They're very, very advanced though. And I just want, this is my first time doing it. I want to make sure that you guys can leave this video film. Like, all right, I really learned something and I can actually go and do this type of stuff. So the last combo I'll give you guys, and this really works for somebody like me that phase. So what I'm going to do is start with a set of D-Rolls, Jimmy Butler, Crab, and then go. Now that's definitely not how it's supposed to look, all right? It looks more like this. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, there we go. That's that's exactly how it's supposed to look. D Rose, Jimmy Butler, Crab, go. Yeah. So it's a lot of moving parts to this, and you guys wondering like, all right, you stopping the crabbing and going? Why are you doing all that? Like I always try to explain to y'all, bro, it's a change of pace. It, it makes them think while in your head you already know what you want to do. D Rose makes them feel like he's starting to move fast. Jimmy Butler is a hesitation to see your options. So if they do try to come up, I hit a crab move. It's one of those things I'm trying to lull them to sleep, right? To do the crab move, you hold R2 and you just flick the same way as the ball hand. You guys gonna you guys gonna see? Without it, it will be a hesitation. With it. With the R2, it's gonna be a, yeah. So, at this point, we know the D-Rose. Bang, Jimmy Butler, crab move, and then you wanna dip. When you dip, they should be, they should be at the hash mark. Oh! You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that hash mark right there. You should be right here. And me, I'm gonna be fading in the corner, but y'all, you know what I'm saying? If you're not on that type of timing, you ain't on demon timing, boy, you guys can take a nice little standard jump shot. So, in full hand cam, it's gonna look like this. Bang, 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 bang. Going the other way with it. Bang, 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 bang. And I'm gonna need my fade gang, 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 gang. I hope that junk helped you guys out, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot thrown at you. Um, like I said, hit that subscribe button. I know, I know it's a couple people that's been on the channel done watch something and still ain't subscribed. Bro, I'm telling you guys right now, just hit that sub button, bro. I got constant videos. I got a video coming out after this that's gonna be five. You know what I'm saying? So, made to the end of the video as always, man. For real, I love y'all. I'm out. Gang. Okay.